seemingly overnight, Democratic governors and mayors have had a change of heart regarding their COVID idiocy. Indigo governors of New York and California have announced ends to their indoor mask mandates in general, and states like Delaware have followed that scary Republican Glenn Youngkin of Virginia, ending their own forced masking of children in schools. But contrary to the new assertion that it's the science that has changed, it's just the polling, and specifically the polling that's preceding an election later this year. As early as 2020, the CDC conceded that wearing actually effective masks, like N95s, not the one-ply masks that, you know, children have been wearing for two and a half years, protect the wearers. But that doesn't stop two years of blue area government diktat demanding that we mask our children, impeding their own ability to learn. By the beginning of the vaccine rollout, it was clear that vaccines were extraordinarily effective in protecting the recipient from severe disease, but they didn't stop transmission. And yet, vaccine mandates were being rolled out this year, 2022. But now something awfully funny is happening. Everything is changing, and in the bluest of blue America. As the 2021 elections demonstrated, COVID is no longer a number one issue for voters, but the restrictions are increasingly becoming so. With inflation at 7.5% from the beginning of Biden's presidency and gas up nearly 50%, the average voter cares much more about the economy than anything else. But if you still have kids in school, COVID restrictions are a top issue, namely how to get rid of them. And no, we aren't talking about in red America. We're talking about in areas like San Francisco. San Francisco may be one of the bluest cities in the entire country. 85% of its voters voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016, the same amount for Joe Biden just two years ago. And yet the entire city across neighborhoods, colors, political affiliations voted out three of the wokest San Francisco school board members. Why? because they prioritized renaming schools instead of reopening them. If that's not a reckoning for Democrats, what else could be? The only thing that has changed for Democrats is not the science, but rather the tea leaves that they're reading heading into an election. 2022 was already going to be a bloodbath for them, but now they're finally starting to see that it may just be too little too late to prevent Republicans from taking over nationwide.